hello guys and dolls and welcome blessings in abundance so here i am and as you already know i've had this account for those that know me for a while and i've changed it and now it's called spiritual sparkle and yes i'm in a wheelchair because recently i had um surgery very extensive surgery and my lung collapsed and right now I'm in a lot of pain and where I'm at right now I'm in the you know at the beginning of the forest but I was deep in there and um, I just wanted to say that being inside I've changed a lot and my spiritual journey has helped me a lot with many surgeries that I've had from my neck fusions to my spinal fusions to learning to love myself more, learning to love life more. I've always been a spiritual person, but like, you know, everyone in life has to go through things and it's like everything when you go to church, you backslide, you know? And we all have to go through things to learn because in life, if you don't go through things, how can you relate to other people, right? So here I would tell you, for those that don't know me, my name is Karen and they call me Coco. I go by Coco. And I'm in this channel, I have still my old videos so you guys could see what I've done. And in this new journey, what I'm doing is I've always helped people, but I want to spread more kindness, humbleness, humility. I want to spread awareness that, you know, that living inside or in the woods and, 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 and being in tune with the earth will heal you and will, how can I put it, will make you a better person and will put you in tune with yourself. When you are in solitude, you tend to learn a lot about yourself. The trees are beautiful. When you hug a tree, believe you me, it heals you. Herbs, herbs heal you. A lot of times you kick these plants on the floor and you say, oh, that, that's just weeds. Those weeds have a lot of medicinal properties. They heal you. I've had a lot of um, scares and herbs have healed me, teas, you know, nowadays, you know, I've, I, 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 I used to eat a lot of meat and became vegan and stuff like that. And that also helps your bones, helps your, you know, your, your, your health. And I'm not trying to, you know, tell you guys to become vegan, not at all. You do what you want to do. But in this journey that I'm on is a beautiful one. And in my practice, my path is such a beautiful one as well. I have so much faith in God and in Sambi and also my Eguns, my ancestors. Without them, we're nothing. We wouldn't be here, you know? And it makes me cry because humanity takes things for granted. We ourselves always think that we're so attached to material things when in reality, excuse my French, material stuff ain't shit. The day that you cease to exist, you take nothing. 
I bet you you guys did not know that the day that you cease to exist, you lose, I believe it's 20 pounds because that's how much your soul weighs. You don't lose your soul. Your soul goes to where it came from. Okay? I don't know if you guys are understanding. Whoever understands me, this message is for them. Whoever doesn't, I guess it's not for you. On this channel, I will be showing you so many things that you guys are going to say. This lady is crazy. I've seen so many things. I believe in the elementals. I've seen elementals. People don't believe anymore. People have no faith. When you have faith from the heart, that's when you start seeing. Life is beautiful. Life is what you make of it. And it's not because of what I've been through, because trust me, I've been going through a lot of things since I was small. And right now, I'm still like 50-50. I cry, not only because I'm in pain, because pain to me ain't nothing. I was born for this shit. But I cry for humanity. Because so many people are overdosing on drugs my husband just told me about someone who he knew you know who just overdosed a great person who who who, who would have thought we didn't even know that he 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 did drugs we he didn't even look like that you know i cry for my children my grandchildren This path that I'm on is a solitude one. It's a lonely one. And the only one there for me is my husband, aside from my spirit guides and this beautiful forest, my elementals, my egoons, my zombi, my ancestors. When you choose this path or this path chooses you, it's a lonely one. And those that stay next to you, those are the ones that belong next to you. And those that don't, they don't. As I was in the hospital recently for nine days, the only one there was my husband and my son, Christopher, who came to see me. And my mom came to see me. But the third day I had to kick her out. <laughs> and I know she only was there just to say she was there because there was no conversations. That's another conversation for another day. Where is she now? Knowing that I had a collapsed lung, I came home. She's nowhere to be found. I couldn't breathe. This surgery just came out of nowhere. The things that were happening to me was weird. An anomaly. I then I had to call 
this gentleman that I call Padrino, who's an amazing man, Davida Lagayu, who helped me because I was dying. I couldn't breathe. I had no other choice. Had it not been for Nsambi first and him, I would not be talking to you right now. Evil exists, people. Evil exists. People are evil out there. And one thing I will say, I do wrong to no one. To no one. I'm just misunderstood. I have a strong character, but that's what saves me. That's what protects me. Since I was a child, I've always been it's either abused and my mom can't say no. I grew up chaotic. I'm not gonna say that my childhood was totally um, corrupted, but what I seen with these eyes was not good, you know? There were times I had some good times, but it was more bad than good. All my life I've seen spirits, all my life I've heard them, all my life I've communicated. And then when you get older, you kind of, you know, ignore, you see, but you ignore because you're immature. But I never stopped believing, I never left them alone. I've always had my things. My own family always call me crazy. My family always left me alone. <laughs> I have two brothers whom I love a lot. I do. But we just don't mesh, you know? <laughs> We're trying to rebuild. I don't know what are we trying to rebuild because I don't know where we went wrong. My other brother went to the army. I went to the army. And then I have my little brother. And there's a lot of things that I have in my, in my heart and in my head that I've never spoken to people. <laughs> I go to therapy twice a week. I have a lot of faith, but I, I'm still human. I still live in this body every day. People be kind. I'm on TikTok. And on TikTok is the same thing. People try to bully and people always misunderstand me. And I'm not one to stay shut. I'm nobody's punk. I'm nobody's punching bag. And I'm never going to be that. I was kicked out of a Munanso for seeking knowledge. They misunderstood me. They always said, oh, you're trying to save my brothers, my brothers, my brothers don't talk to me. It was never that. <laughs> it was never that. It was never that. There was an infiltrator in that house. <laughs> Who told me everything and they were always talking about me. Doing videos behind my back the own the same leader and that's why I'm here in this chair because of them <laughs> evil exists and I never did anything to them I went to that house wholeheartedly <laughs> seeking help <laughs> and
And they're trying to destroy me for no reason. I didn't do anything. <laughs> when the same leader said, don't entertain her foolishness in a video. And all I thought he was gonna be a bonus father. Cause I don't have a father or mother. I cry all the time because of that, because I never in a million years would do anything bad to anyone. <laughs> but they did, and I smelled them. People be good, be kind. It costs nothing. Evil is so easy to be evil. But I gotta go. Cause I'm in pain and I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything. And my husband just got out of work. But blessings and abundance to all. May Insambi always bless each and every one of you today, tomorrow, and always. Blessings to all. Good night.